Okay, we are at the Occupy Honolulu, a uh, corner of Ward and Baratania. You know, there's some uh, new stuff going on. Uh, there was something like a restraining order, or or, or was was there or wasn't there? Um, stemming from an action that was uh, filed in the uh, Ninth Circuit Court. So uh, we'll see, but we have uh, police and the truck. So there was a tagging raid yesterday. All the property was swapped out under the uh, order, under the Ninth Circuit Court order, which apparently is not being called a restraining order. The uh, the um, city must uh, must um, comply with certain kinds of restrictions. One is that they can't steal uh, stuff as they as they have been. I'm working with two cameras here, so my camera work might not be uh, too uh, steady here. I'm at the uh, corner now of uh, Ward and Baratania. Looks like a raid going on here. As I'm gonna. They also have to allow. Uh, public oversight of uh, government operations and they have uh, always come with their own uh, video cameras. The difference is my video goes to the internet, it's public property, anybody can see it. Your video is private property and it's used against the public and that's the main difference. So it's okay, you can post that on YouTube, mine's going up to Ustream, uh, Ustream uh, channel is user Honolulu Dog, channel Honolulu Dog. We have the uh, dump truck, the uh, iconic symbol of the raids here. This would probably be raid 54 over the period of one year. This really is the symbol of the raids on uh, the Occupy because uh, here's the uh, management team truck people that used to lead the raids, here's the uh, backhoe, the bulldozer coming in The people that used to do the raids uh, before are no longer with the um, are no longer with the uh, department. That would be Trish Morikawa, used the who was the coordinator of the. Uh, Office of uh, Housing that was started by the mayor who used to be a prosecutor. Um, you just joined us. We're at the corner of Warden Baratania. We're on the Baratania Street side. This is Red Tent Day at uh, the Occupy. It was tagged yesterday. Yesterday was um, yesterday was um, Blue Tent Day. Everything was rotated out to private property so that there is no storage of. Uh, there is no storage of um, property on public property.
Now you can see they are taping the area off, but uh, in compliance with the new order uh, coming out of the uh, Ninth Circuit Court, they have to allow much closer access. So this will allow much closer um, scrutiny of, of their operations, both police operations and uh, th that of the Department of Facility Maintenance. Now, they usually will come and raid, they'll go on a, like a caravan raid of various uh, homeless uh, encampments. Of course, this is Deoccupy Honolulu, a well-organized political encampment started uh, to protest the uh, inequity in uh, financial and uh, um, stemming from the financial crisis of 2008. Um, I'm facing toward uh, what we sometimes call uh, South Occupy. On the Victoria Street corner, on this side of the corner, is, um, is a uh, homeless camp. They're not politically affiliated. Uh, and as a result, suffer a great deal uh, more in terms of uh, problems with the police and that sort of thing. You can see there is a very large uh, police presence. And that's used to um, intimidate people. I'm going to uh, this blue tent, I'm not sure, belongs either Occupy or South Occupy, but we can uh, get in fairly close to um, provide uh, public oversight of uh, government operations. My understanding is opening the tent uh, is a violation of the Fourth Amendment uh, protection against unreasonable search and seizure. Any inventory of contents is any inventory. I'm doing two things at once. So I'm going to pause every now and then. Here's the opening of a tent. Right. Isn't there a, isn't there a restriction from looking inside uh, tents the, as a violation of Fourth Amendment uh, protections against search and seizure? a couple of uh, lanes are closed off. This tent has been uh, which I didn't oh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, it's being uh, taken. I don't know if it was tagged yesterday. This is I'm uh, more over on the South Occupy end of the deal. This has definitely been open. You can see uh, this, I believe, is a violation of the order. That I, at least my interpretation of the order. Are they doing the same thing here that they, they try to locate? Uh, they, oh, they tried to find the owner. No one responded locally here, and they With opened the it up. Yeah. And. Uh, I believe the blue one might have been uh, here yesterday, but you'll get to see up close the operation here. And the area, of course, is uh, taped off. 
but not to the extent it was. They'd tape off this entire area uh, before. I'm taking uh, both stills and. Uh, if you just joined us, we are at uh, the Occupy Honolulu corner of, uh, actually we're on, Bar that's Baratania Street in the back and Ward uh, runs up and down uh, perpendicular to it. This is the first uh, seizure raid after the order issued by the Ninth Circuit Court. The um, plaintiffs, the Occupy Honolulu, uh, number of uh, named um, people, uh, the Smith brothers, Chris Smith, Andrew Smith, and a few others are named, um, they're taking a Save Free Speech sign. Uh, there is a challenge, a challenge to test the uh, constitutionality of uh, this kind of action in, in L.A. There was uh, an opinion issued by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeal saying that the um, LA's version of uh, this kind of action was unconstitutional, so that has stopped. And uh, I noticed uh, video cameras on me by the police, and that's fine, except, you know, uh, you're not going to see that on YouTube or Ustream and you won't really see it uh, except um, by subpoenaing the information or or maybe a uh, Office of Information Practice uh, government records request but uh, thanks to my Facebook friends I, there are a lot of uh, photographs of me in action uh, some of them are kind of flattering because I, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not usually the subject of photographs. <laughs> I'm the old guy with the ponytail. You know. Now we are. I'm pointing toward the um, Occupy end, and I think uh, I'm going to pan around here so we get an idea of what's going on. To locate us, I'm going to pan toward uh, the park, which is Thomas Square. You can see uh, dump trucks here. They're not supposed to dis um, not supposed to uh, destroy and uh, dispose of property. Uh, this is the problem. Four, kind of a busy day. Can I ask why you're removing that? Are you moving? One of the um, differences, aside from different people and a different uh, tape, taping off area, is uh, lack of phone calls. Uh, the previous Rays would be have a lot of uh, phone calls. Um, we're asking questions. That's uh, Chris Smith. He's on Ustream uh, channel. Reasonable question, in my point of view. So not only am I um, you streaming uh, Chris Nova Smith, that that guy is following both of us. Try and get over on the other end. Uh, 
This is a this is a pretty iconic. Area here, we can see the. I need to get a shot of this because this is the very kind of the icon, one of the iconic images of uh, the Occupy, the crime tape, the bulldozer. There's a lot of wind here today. This is interfering probably with the sound. Sorry about that. These tents here, this, these red tents, are um, these red tents are were not here yesterday, so are not uh, being stored in public property and not in violation of ordinance 11-029 uh, or 10-26. Oh, those guys are touching my items. They're not in the park. They I can understand they're being in there the for the park items, but they're taking the sidewalk items. That's the guys in the yellow hat. Parks, parks and Rec are in uh, blue and are out, outside the park. And I think that's the question being asked. There are one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. About a dozen police here. I count eight in my clear view. Should you ask what time they showed up? Well, I am uh, 18 minutes in and I uh, started uh, just as the police and other vehicles started showing up. Not much action going on here. I think uh, there's kind of a new crew, new rules, that sort of thing. So, yeah, yeah. We have a uh, the viewing gallery here where members have uh, taken seats to enjoy the <laughs> spectacle, and behind them, of course, police to make sure that there's no uh, crazy um, Shaolin moves by the uh, the occupiers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we have been training. Uh, yeah, no, this is a uh, deadly training camp here. <laughs> uh, that is the new leader. I yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know who he is. I call him Mr. Pino. I think that might be uh, Kabato, but director of Parks and Rec, and I think that's why the Parks and Rec guy is there. I'm going to look it up. technically, right, the Parks and Rec... They're outside the parks. So what yeah. the heck is the deal? On the yeah. other hand, we know that they can do any damn thing they want. Yeah, they do anything they want, but since we're trying to set a legal precedent, I mean... And I'm glad that we are all armed with the actual uh, order and whatnot. I got 1026. So. Oh, that's 1026? Yeah. I know people have the uh, order uh, coming out of the Ninth Circuit Court. I have it on my phone. Rain's coming down here, not good for oh, my yeah. camera. But, rain uh, the rain. Now would be a perfect time for a downpour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... So while this is going on here, let me pan from the whole end here. That street coming down is Victoria Street, and that's uh, non-politically affiliated uh, houseless uh, encampment. You see it taped off much less than it used to be. They're in compliance, trying to comply with the Ninth Circuit uh, Court order. 
but you can see uh, that these red tents weren't here yesterday because yesterday was blue tent day, today is red tent day. And over on that end is um, Ward Street, Ward Avenue. And this whole block here is uh, Thomas Square and you can see uh, some of the uh, park um, parks uh, the uh, the crews uh, use the park as I'm going to get a shot of this that sign says uh, no uh, you know the usual no no this and that. I'm going to back up. So I, this is a, actually a pretty good shot. <laughs> so I'm going to back up here. I'm, I'm taking pictures with this other thing so I can mount it. Um, I got a pretty decent shot of that. So. The uh, sign says, no shopping carts, alcohol beverages, no tree climbing, no camping tents, no vehicles on grass, no vehicles on grass, <laughs> no golfing, no littering, no open fires, no tree climbing, no feeding of animals. Uh, uh, it looks like they're taking some some stuff. There used there used to be a uh, free uh, free speech table. Actually, there have been a number of free speech tables here, and they keep uh, getting uh, confiscated uh, and destroyed. Free speech is an interesting uh, concept. We learn. Uh, in grade school that apparently is not very tidy so I'm gonna back up here not much uh, loudspeaker action happening just joined us. We're at, uh, I'm looking out toward Baratania Street, across the street from the former Anna Rice Cook Estate, now known as the Honolulu Museum of Art, and ironically right across the street on the Victoria side is a homeless encampment, and on the ward side, the uh, Deoccupy Honolulu uh, encampment, uh, which is being raided. Uh, the 53rd or 54th raid, 54th raid, I think, uh, in the more than one year that they've been here. And the first one after the uh, order um, came out on the Ninth Circuit Court, that's uh, Nova Smith, uh, you stream uh, The Pineapple Glitch. Uh, so if you want to get the stereo view of what's going on, then check into his uh, <laughs> you can get uh, I know you can stream both at the same time and get an idea of what's going on maybe if they weren't wasting so much money they could fix their equipment <laughs> guys in blue I guess are parks and rec People in orange, a Department right of there. Facility Maintenance. Per the city and county is illegal. Hmm. It's only DFN that's written off, not parks and recreation. This is a pedestrian zone, not a park. In fact, that's what the new uh, emblems on the uh, sidewalk say. I'm asking them to not damage my property. I'm right here. 
Well, it's, it's also a parking private person that's in the pedestrian. You got him damaging my property right there, right? We'll get that person on camera. Now what we have here, what they're doing is they're attaching uh, tags. To the, uh, they're attaching tags to the tent. Which uh, will subject them uh, to seizure. Kind of the symbol here of uh, well, interesting. I got uh, information from uh, someone that was here uh, yesterday. Sugar Solidarity, I think that's a Twitter handle. It says the last tag was at uh, 1020 yesterday. Bill 39. And you do know of a court order. You're taking it from me, right? Yeah. Alright, well, good. Yeah, it's my story. You can get it back. Okay. Thank you. You obviously do know about a court order. Uh, the court order requires them to stop destroying items and to store items. And if that's the case, I don't know why there's uh, this truck here, which is a dump truck. And this one here, which is the garbage truck, we can see it was probably at another. Uh, it was probably at another uh, homeless site earlier. Um, there's one down the street, oh, a mile or two down Baratania and King uh, Moiliili. They're, they're actually taking the seats here. And that's a police policeman taking it. Now the other thing, uh, the other test is uh, very specific to Hawaii, that's the Kanawai Mamalahoi, which allows people uh, to be by the roadside uh, and not be disturbed. It's uh, in the state of Hawaii constitution. Emblematic of uh, the law being for the people and against uh, the abuse of authority. It ends heva no make, which means disobey and die. All the police uh, wear the emblem of the Kanawai Mamalahoi on their patches. If you see the uh, oars, the paddles, the canoe paddles, the uh, Kanawai Mamalahoi, which was proclaimed by uh, Kamehameha the first, first king of Hawaii, 1790-something, is translated the law of the splintered paddle. So if you just joined us, we are at uh, Deoccupy Honolulu encampment on the corner of uh, Baratania and 
ward. You can see the encampment is right up along the roadside uh, under the protection of the Kanawai Mamalahoi, the Law of the Splintered Paddle. You can Google it, Law of the Splintered Paddle or Kanawai Mamalahoi. Uh, which is the first law of Hawaii proclaimed by King Kamehameha I, the first king of Hawaii, and enshrined into the Constitution, which guarantees the safety of people. I've got to get off so I can read this shit too. All right. The pineapple bridge going off the air. Maybe I will. Uh, maybe I will go and. Uh, I'll follow you if you wanna. Are you gonna be uh, reading stuff off? To them? Huh? You want me to? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna find find everything right now. Okay. Uh, I think you know I I wasn't able to do both at once. Right, right. I see movie uh, and the history and use on the uh, emblems. Yeah, I can. Here's what I call uh, the management team. This is a new management team, I believe. The director of uh, Parks and Recs, but I don't want to make a determination. Uh, before, raid started 32 minutes ago, so we're 32 minutes in. As I was saying, the uh, encampment you can see is right along the road rather in this rather nice park uh, under the protection of the under the supposed protection of the Kanawai Mamalahoi the law of the splintered paddle which guarantees the safety of humble people lying uh, by the side of the road where'd he go? oh there he is okay sir I'm gonna read uh, sir. revolution is gonna Read the ordinance. I'm giving you an opportunity to hear. The plaintiff will not erect any emotional structures, even those expressing free, expressing speech protected by the First Amendment. Movable objects used to express protected speech are subject to the same requirement. Provisions as listed above. In so far as those objects are not by Chapter 29, Article 19 of the Revised Ordinance of Honolulu. Plaintiffs will not materially expand the storage area at Thomas Square beyond the existing status quo. You just removed freedom of speech. There were Every one of those uh, signs, items you just violated. Signs removed. Do you understand this, sir? I'm giving you a chance. I'm trying to be nice here. So far, you, re you refuse to recognize that there is a court order, and you refuse to recognize uh, Section 2 of page, what is it, 3? No, 5. Page 5. We are now over at the, the Victoria Street side. Do you understand that, sir? This is the uh, homeless encampment over on the Victoria Street side. You can see a great deal of uh, organization among these people. I'd have to say uh, homeless people are probably among the most organized people uh, that we know. A lot of recycled stuff, well used, well organized. You can see uh, clothing in... Do you have a hearing impediment or you're refusing to speak to the public you sold property? Sir, are you refusing to acknowledge the court order and me educating you? We're over on the, uh, we're over on the, uh, house the side of, uh, Thomas Square, and, uh, you can see the sign in the back. Are you enough to do your job? I asked the question. That's a good question. I have uh, Sugar Solidarity says if they did not know about the order, then why did they not take off more than 10 feet? 
So the change in the taping off of the area shows that they are indeed aware of the new orders and ha must have reviewed it. Uh, this must have um, this must have uh, been reviewed and discussed by uh, corporate co corporation council, which is the uh, legal uh, division of the, the city and county. I think I made my point, right? I think so, and we'll have it on tape to yeah, review. He doesn't want to acknowledge anything. No. The simple thing that he can rectify now, and he refuses. Like the uh, tape has been removed, so. A lot of police here, but there's never been any anything here that uh, requiring a police. This is a political encampment. Uh, here's the uh, management team car. That looks like it. They brought the uh, bulldozer, but uh, wasn't used. It wouldn't be a raid without that bulldozer. It would, uh, it's been here so many times. I'll get you up close on this tag. This is what we call tagging. Blade observes uh, parks, parks and wrecks is fucking up. Yes, indeed. You can see the uh, tags on these things. So I'm, I'm uh, predicting. Okay, we know the next stop. Next stop is uh, the encampment uh, near Hard Rock Cafe. Um, near Waikiki, Waikiki, Alamoana, Mo'ili, that area. Uh, that's where this uh, truck is going. So, hey, you know, if you're no, I don't. That's not Ken Shimizu. I got, I got a thing from uh, Sugar Solidarity. That's not Ken. I think it's uh, Kabato. Try and look on the uh, government page, the Honolulu page. He'd be director of Parks and Rec. His brother was arrested uh, because they were selling meth, methamphetamine to prisoners uh, and taking them uh, to the beach uh, rather than on their work furlough. Uh, so, you know. <laughs> I'm not saying that there's any relation, but... I think that's Kabata, and they'd, they'd have his picture up on the uh, on the uh, page too. He knows uh, I'm Doug. Hi, Jake. I got a message from Jake. What are they doing? Well, what they did was, if you remember the raids of the old days, similar to that, different people because Trish is no longer here. Um, no fun, Chun. Sometimes called Chairman Chun. Wesley Chun is no longer here. They did not tape off the entire area, but only 10 feet. Gigantic police presence, so uh, they, you know, we wouldn't be tempted to uh, do anything bad. We, we never had. There goes the uh, truck. As I said before, they're on their way to uh, the encampment near the Hard Rock Cafe, so if you're there or near there, let those guys know, please. I would like to get some cameras and uh, Twitter accounts for those people so that uh, we can get some help for them. I'm part of a uh, hui that we're taking a non-profit called the Hawaii Guerrilla Video Hui. And uh, once we raise some funds, we would like to increase uh, the proliferation of cameras 
devices and that sort of thing. They're going off here. Not sure why this guy's backing up. I tell people that uh, the First Amendment is the new Second Amendment. We have to uh, protect the right to uh, keep and bear cameras. This is stuff you don't see covered. You don't see uh, attacks on homeless people uh, because uh, they don't have cameras. They don't have press agents. They don't have anything, but I'm bringing it to you. You can see that truck keeps the uh, things that are supposed to go to storage. Uh, each one is numbered, and I'm going to find out, see if anyone here has received a tag with a VIN number. If you're just joining us, uh, we've just had a raid here. I'm going to see what Terry's up to. So how can you stand by and try to spin it to telling me you cannot help me? All I'm telling you is don't let them damage my property. It has an it has an X for that. I'm standing right behind them. Yeah, we have They're it on we have it on tape too. It's on tape. It's like I'm telling you now. Why will you let them destroy my property and say I'm different than if somebody was throwing rocks through the window of the art academy over here? You would go over there and you wouldn't let it happen. But you're telling me that you have some obligation to let it happen? It's not that we have an obligation. You can't say, hey, they're damaging the property. There's obviously a law for that. How did they damage it? They punctured holes in my they tent. They staple it, yeah. And then when it rains, and then it when leaks. it rains, it leaks, so they're damaging my internal and external property. Uh, feel that right way, Dan. Well, I'll play with the corporation console on the damage. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about them, but... Yeah, and then... There's a legal end there. Is if somebody was throwing rocks to a house window, you would never tell them what you just told me. That's right. That's you right. would handle the business. You would tell them, stop damaging the property, or you're going to be liable. They're the liable ones. They're damaging property, and they have no reason to. I'm right I'll there saying... The corporation console for claims against the damage. Yeah, and but I'm, the I'm asking him. I'm telling him, I'm not going to keep letting them staple my property. I'm going to assault them if they staple my property again. Okay? And I'm leaving it up to you guys to make sure that doesn't happen because well, I will be here. Uh, the advice that you told you there is an assault. So, you know. What about them? Are they going to be arrested for damaging my property? If I did bring it up at the corporation council. I will that as far as my as far as my losses, I will go to them. Yeah. The next time yeah. that they come stick to my tent, they're going to be destroying my property in front of me and you. And you're telling me you're not going to do nothing to them. You're just going to wait for me to take it into my own hands and then well, arrest there me. There's any advice on the legal plan how to attach us to you guys can. So Look, bro, it says property. right on there, notice handed to property owner. They did it for me yesterday. Oh, so I guess it's, it's not Kabato. Unless, unless the property owner is not there. But I was. And it's no, on tape. You're, you're no, I, no, I said for the one that's mine. And I said, do not staple that tent. It is my tent when you write the ticket, hand me the ticket. He did. And they stapled it. They the took... Tent. Uh, I have a question of what did they take? They took right. signs, uh, they took freedom furniture, chairs, and that sort of thing. So, uh, but nothing inside tents. They did take a couple of uh, tents and the contents of those. Apparently left uh, some stuff here. There's still some police here, so I'm gonna see what's going on. You can see uh, Parks and Rec's uh, people leaving here. Heading over, it sounds like, uh, to the homeless encampment uh, near the Hard Rock Cafe. So if you're near there, hey, you know what? Take out a camera, warn those guys. Soon we're going to get uh, people, all homeless people, uh, cameras and Twitter accounts. Uh, this, uh, I'll be signing off soon. Uh, this is uh, Thomas Square.
We're on July 1st, 1843. Sovereignty was returned to the Hawaiian people after a brief misadventure by a British British citizen and a, and a gunship. And uh, Kawikeaoli, King uh, Kamehameha III, proclaimed to a Maokeeo Kainai Kapono. May the sovereignty of the land uh, continue in perpetuity. And uh, very historic place. I'm signing off. Thanks for joining us. Uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll bring you things as they happen. Thank you for joining us. Bye.